Welcome to our channel. Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys an app which can display uh, pictures or images onto your Fitbit Versa smartwatch. Now the Fitbit Versa smartwatch has a very vibrant um, and very excellent colors so it would be really nice if you can uh, watch pictures onto your Fitbit Versa like this. So. Uh, if you guys are new to our channel consider subscribing to our channel uh, we do post a lot of videos about Fitbit Versa and if you guys are here to learn about Fitbit Versa make sure you check out the playlist on Fitbit Versa where we have a lot of videos on Fitbit Versa uh, so that will be really helpful so without further ado let's get started so first of all we need to go into uh, the Fitbit Versa app on to the smartphone currently I'm using an Android device so in the all apps if you go uh, you will have a list of all the apps which you have installed on your phone and you then go in all the apps um, now to narrow down the list uh, of the apps which can uh, show the pictures onto your watch we'll just type photo in the search bar uh, you can type other keywords too but uh, photo will show you all the apps which does that job so there are a lot of apps now I'm showing you two apps today uh, which are free of charge so you don't have to pay anything for that app and they work flawlessly so the first two apps right here they are paid photo my photo uh, photo uh, photo album watch app it's also paid uh, just so you guys know Starwa is not uh, a photo app somehow it came up on this uh, keyword uh, Google photo viewer uh, this I have tried it but there are some issues it's a beta version and it's it's not working that good so I am not recommending this one to you guys uh, camera remote app that's a camera app again it's a paid one wiki places it's not an app for pictures uh, easy pick by Dynic is a very good app and I'm gonna do uh, uh, an in-depth uh, video about this uh, pretty soon uh, and I have done a video about this as well uh, altitude is not a photo app alright so uh, now today I'm gonna do a review about two of the apps uh, the first one which is my favorite which is right here is slideshow by uh, Gondwana softwares alright so uh, this is a slideshow of the pictures you want you can even put id cards or a point collecting card and it's it, the picture quality is awesome over here uh, it's a higher resolution so you can even scan the barcode uh, displayed on the picture it sure the description says that uh, a separate version allowing 20 or more picture may be released in future but at this point this particular version i'm using only allows five pictures all right now I'm gonna go in the app and show you how to add pictures on it. Uh, so if you go in the setting icon right here, then oh, I didn't hit the setting icon. All right, so you you must hit the setting icon right here, and then it will take you in the setting where you can adjust the time for uh, font, um, which is on the top left. You can uh, adjust the color of the font. Um, you can adjust the position right here time which is top uh, it says top center but it's top left uh, the color of the date and the position of the date then you can pick an image from the gallery or camera and then uh, let me show you guys so that that way you can have a better idea so whatever picture you pick it will show you uh, a, uh, an option to crop once you hit done then you get all the options which are default by uh, option at this point but you can customize that as well otherwise it's gonna pick up this default setting right here once done you hit send watch uh, you can even type a status which will come up on the bottom uh, right here if you want to type anything about that image it will come right here and then once you hit send to the watch it goes to the watch now I'm gonna go actually to the watch so as you can see uh, up till this point the pictures were changing by themselves uh, so that's the slideshow effect right here you can also manually swipe the pictures and you can see clearly the pictures are very crisp and uh, clear and I really like this now I'm gonna show you a couple of options right here so if you hit the top button 
not hold just press once and you get all these options so the first one is auto off uh, if I hit this it's it's just gonna stop playing the pictures the time and date it's not gonna show the time and date if I hit this one off captions which are the small text at the bottom uh, auto advance and edit slides so you can actually edit slides over here now it's too bright uh, I'm sorry about that uh, but you can arrange the position of the slide and delete the slides from here but you only have five pictures option over here all right so that's uh, my favorite app for viewing pictures onto your uh, smartwatch all right now i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna show you guys another app which is easy pick by dineet so i'm gonna show you guys that app as well so it's right here easy picks now this uh, this app allows you uh, eight pictures yeah, eight pictures which you can upload from your phone to the watch and you can view it on the watch. Uh, there are a couple of options uh, to adjust uh, the settings right here where you can um, like uh, adjust the quality of the image. So if you go over here, um, it is an updated version as well. They fixed some bugs over here. So I'll go in the setting of this app and I'm gonna show you guys how to upload uh, the pictures. So if you go in setting, you can actually uh, select the quality and the transfer speed for now I have high quality and low speed so that means the images are of high quality but the transfer rate is slow uh, you can hit any other option but I personally find this option very good in terms of uh, crisp images okay and then to select an image you just uh, hit this go um, go into the gallery select the image you want and then you just upload it will also give you an option to crop uh, I have this image already so I'm not gonna upload this image again alright but now I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on the uh, watch itself alright so here are all the images which I have uploaded from the uh, phone to the watch alright so if you hit that you can see now if you guys want to see a picture uh, without any uh, time date or anything then this is the best app and you can see more pictures as well you can see about eight pictures so then you can uh, the slide feature does not work over here so you have to manually press the button to change the image all right but as you can see the image quality is so awesome and very crisp without any uh, text or anything uh, it looks pretty good and decent as well all right now uh, if you guys want uh, if you guys want to have uh, a look at the time and uh, date as well then the other one which I showed you earlier which was the slideshow app would be the best but either way both of this app uh, you cannot load pictures from uh, your Google photo it's you have to add the pictures from your uh, phone to the watch uh, if you want uh, something where you can uh, view the pictures from uh, Google photo then this would be a good one it's GP viewer by Dynit. I have installed this app I have also added my Google account onto it but somehow I am not able to load the pictures uh, so there it's it, it says clearly over here it's a beta version so I guess they are working on it to fix all the bugs and maybe once it's fixed it's gonna be really good one so where you can go on the watch right here and you can uh, it, it says requesting but it just says requesting it never comes up maybe they are just working on it uh, but uh, I'll just show you a quick setting right here um, so if you go on the setting right here then you actually can log into your Google account right here and authenticate it. I have already authenticated one of my Google account, but somehow I'm not able to uh, load the pictures right here. It just pops up requesting all the time. So I won't recommend you this one, but there are a lot more apps coming up at this point. These are the best apps available. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos out here. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Take care.